Hey everyone, we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager and I have been playing some- Oh! And I have been playing some Shadow Hearts. So I literally just recorded an hour of this game, and I got to the end, did my whole outro, had all of my fun commentary, and I had forgotten to hit F9 to start recording the footage. So I had the webcam footage, but I didn't have the game footage. I'm dumb. So dumb. But it's okay. Yay for reading things that you just read about a half an hour ago. Again, because you have to, because... You fucked up with your recording. <laughs> hey, is this... Yup, no question about it. Is a Taoist seal. Maybe to keep us from getting out? But who said it? I doubt there's anybody in the Japanese army that can use black magic like this. It's a lot different from the kind of magic I know. Yes, because you like to take a book out. And read the Bible. And that's your magic. You're right. This feels... Oh. Oh, oh. Okay, that was weird. My computer is getting pissed off at me because of my lack of recording properly. That's what I'm gonna call it. You're right, this feels far more sinister. And evil. It simply reeks of it. Anyway, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get out of these sewers unless we break it. Break its house seal? How? I don't have a clue. It looks like something fits into the center of the symbol. So you gotta find this fury thing that goes in the middle of this big old sphery circle-y thing, and then you gotta put it into the little circle-y divot. I've heard about this kind of occult feng shui magic before. If memory serves, there are two ways to break that seal. Open the lock on the other side, or destroy its guardian. Knowing us, it's gonna be both. In fact, I know it's going to be both, because I just played this literally just before recording this. Because I messed up my recording. I hate it when that happens, you guys. I'm ill, I've just got over a fever, I've still got the sniffles, and I've still got an, the flu. I wanna go to bed. <laughs> Whew! There aren't any guards around, it's just us three. But that terrible, oppressive feeling I get here, it's like someone's been watching us. Ever since we arrived. Wow, what a pain. If you're out there, save us both some time and show yourself. Come on, let's play! Heh, <laughs> get it? Let's play? I'm doing a lot's play. Dear, dear, there are plenty of situations where brute strength just isn't the answer, Sunny Boy. So that leaves so that leaves the lock. And all we've got to do is find something to unlock it with, right? Yeah, sure. Alright, let's start looking. Huh? Explosions? I'm wondering who caused that. <laughs> Right on schedule. The bomb I set in the train depot just went off. Damn! Marguerite, how many more firecrackers do you have up there? <laughs> that was the last one. I bet the Japanese army didn't even know it hit him. Didn't know it hit him? If the whole sewer system collapses, we won't know it hit us either. Oh, come now. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm Marguerite, Miss Spy Genius. As if I make that kind of mistake, it's all according to plan. Every last detail. Yeah, sure, tell that to, like, five minutes, or not even five minutes from now, like two minutes from now, when I literally go and find a section of the sewer that next to us that has crumbled because of your bomb. Hey, look! A section of the sewer that crumbled because of her bomb! <laughs> Oh, Marguerite. All according to plan, eh? So why is it caving in, Miss Spy Genius? Sweat drop. Uh... Oh, this is according to plan, too. See, we got the stone, right? Yeah. Sure. Okay, I admit it, it was a mistake. But it turned out alright, didn't it? See, now let's hurry. I love Marguerite. She's so gung-ho and just fuck the consequences, do the thing. I love her. She's she's kind of great. And now we get to put the seal away, and nothing bad could possibly happen, except, you know, the growling of the obvious guardian, because we're obviously going to have to put the stone in and fight the guardian, despite what Marguerite says. 
evil I sensed before. It's getting stronger. Indeed. I'm breaking out in cold sweat. This is just icky. Yep, set the ceiling stone. Do it. Have fun with the boss fight. So something's coming! Gross? Seriously, that thing looks hella gross. Also, his name is funny. You'll find out. <laughs> it's packed out as so gross and disgusting, I don't like it. But. See, these things, the green ones, are called cabins. And the red one yeah, is a water so tiger. And I find the fact that the green ones are called Kappas to be funny. Because Kappas are funny. <laughs> and he's dead. <laughs> Slightly less commentary during the uh, boss fights here, mostly because uh, I just recorded this and I sort of commentary out. Just a bit. Phew, that frightened me to death. Hey, what happened to being either or, Locke or Guardian? Heh, <laughs> Guardian. <laughs> Killing Waka. <gasps> Jeez, what kind of trembling little coward double locks? <laughs> At least it was an easy victory. Exclamation mark! But what is it? I know we destroyed that thing, but... I can still sense intense evil. Don't worry, the seal's broken. Up ahead's a landing strip, we're gonna get us an airplane, come on! Cause she's a pilot! I still feel like someone's watching us, though. Which is going to prove important in a little bit. Uh, if you need some help, you're fine, you need some help. Because I also know we're going to get into a fight in a minute. Because we can't have nice things, and you always got to have five million bus feats. See, this is proof right here. Delian with Ju- Totally not Jujen there. Um, we totally don't see him again very shortly. <laughs> spoil, 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 spoil. Okay. Onwards to more adventure. Go above ground. Hey, Tiny, come back! It's the puppy from before. Hmm? Aw, oh, that mutt run away, huh? Forget about him, Alice. He's just happy to be outside. But... But I want the puppy, Yuri. <laughs> okay, fine. We'll go after the puppy. Who's totally not evil. Totally not an evil pupper. <laughs> bow, wow, wow, bow, wow, wow, wow. Totally not an evil puppy. And the Japanese army. <laughs> huh? A stray dog? You lost boy? Hmm? Uh oh. Japanese troops! Dun, dun, oh, oh, oh. It, it's them! The wanted terrorists from Feng Tian! Sound the alarm! Prepare for battle! Inform Lieutenant Colonel Kash Kawashima immediately! English is hard! This damn dog! Looks like we've got no choice but to fight. Ha, this should be fun. And yet they run at me two at a time. See, there's four soldiers there, they all have guns. And they're like, now nah, let's just give them a shot and just run at them two at a time. <laughs> Because I logic not at all. <laughs> Especially because I can kind of one shot them. I don't think I can one shot with Marguerite. Maybe? Okay, yes, I can. So, like, they didn't even get a turn in. They may have gotten a turn in if they'd all attacked me at once. But nope, instead, they are just not gonna get a turn. Like, at all. Also, my wind leveled up. I need to go to the graveyard. Crap. 
Damn, they're tough. Keep your guard up. Stop that. Uh, you can't really do anything. Cause you're weak. And there it goes. One in one shot. Granted, you go directly into a boss fight after this, but it's still funny. <laughs> and you did. Most effectual and totally not ineffectual troops ever. Over so soon, they're hardly worth their salaries. What do we do now? Reinforcements are going to be here any minute! Right, no time to waste. Let's grab that plane of ours. Or... Or that could happen. Or the plane could explode. Out of nowhere. Hey, Alice, you okay? Well, she did just get exploded. Y yes I'm I'm all right. Another kaboom? What the hell's going on? Exclamation mark! I have to run off screen and nobody hears me running or tries to figure out why I'm running off screen. The plane, it blew up. Eek! Wait for it. Evil puppy! <laughs> oh, this game. <laughs> Why, there's nothing to fear, girl. I'm just your cute little dog, Tiny. <laughs> the, the dog is talking? She's really surprised. She just beat the shit out of a bunch of demons and was talking about feng shui magic. And she's surprised that talking dog that's covered in demonic aura. You're the one that blew up the plane, aren't you? And just as we were about to make our escape. As if I'm going to go chasing you halfway across the continent. I think not. You're coming with me. The heathen girl, that is. Who are you? This evil aura. So you're the one that's been watching us ever since the sewers. Hehe, <laughs> that's correct. Oh, I get it. You're bacon. What? Did you get reincarnated as a dog after I killed you on the train? Totally, you totally killed the guy who's totally not Roger, like, not Roger Bacon at all, but you only know that if you play Godelka. <laughs> this, this is too much. How unbelievably lame! Like, you're one to call anybody lame, Yuri. No, foolish boy, how dare you mention that s mention me in the same breath as that charlatan! You want to know who I am? Not even- not that you zeros even worthy of hearing my name. <laughs> um, let's see, is it tiny after all? What? That doesn't you wench! I can't follow all this. Look, buddy, I don't know who you are, but we don't have time to chew the fat. Old- old school sayings. Because Chew the Fat is totally something that's said nowadays, and it's still funny to me. <clears throat> this will not, I will not stand for this! You shall repent and taste the wrath, the wrath of death I am! Da da da! It's a pupper! But he's a big pupper. With a spiky spikiness that we don't like. We don't like the spiky pupper. <laughs> so we're gonna turn into a tiger. And we're gonna kill the spiky pupper. Cause why not? Uh, that one. Okay. You know, I feel the need to point out. Um. Hold on. There we go. I don't recall them telling Marguerite that um, yeah, Yuri was a harmonixer and that he could change into monsters. So she's just seeing Yuri for no reason, out of nowhere, turning into a giant monster. Oh god, I thought the emulation was gonna crap out on me. And she doesn't say anything, she doesn't freak out about the fact that, you know, Yuri's turned into a gigantic tiger with two long arms. But, 
I guess we just get to, you know, take it all in stride. It's just the way things are in Shadow Hearts land. And he's dead. <laughs> I killed the pupper. I'm a terrible person because I killed the pupper. Pupper is dead. Poor pupper. I will. Guess we're gonna have to go find another plane! Now I get it, so this mutt's actually some wretched old geezer named Dehui. <laughs> Giving yourself away like that. Real smart, Dehui! He seemed he seemed to know about Roger Bacon. Not only that, but he seemed to know about me too. Hey, come on, you two, we've gotta stay on our toes. I know a little something about that Dehui character. I'll tell you about it later. In the meantime, I'll be looking for a plane we can use. Be right back. BRB! <laughs> just runs off. And the heart returns. Jeez, Alice, you sure are popular with older guys. You do have that whole innocence thing going on. Or maybe it's because you have some big secrets. Oh! Don't look at me that way! Oh, don't sexually harass me again! <sighs> Yuri... Will you ever learn? <laughs> and... she finds a drunker. Hey, you guys! Look what I found! What do you think? Pretty nifty, eh? It was abandoned, I think, but it started when I gave it a swift kick. <laughs> oh, that's a happy down, alright. You want us to ride in it? Bingo! Stop your chattering, kids, and hop in. Well, <laughs> let's hop into the plane that's obviously going to crash. Hmm, is this thing made from midgets or what? And what's with the squeaking? Will it really fly? Whoa! Oh, I'm so sorry, Yuri! She landed on him. N no problem, you're plenty light, Alice. They're just squeezing into the back. <laughs> Don't you two get all cuddly on me now. This is it. Hold on tight. I can just picture Yuri and Alice squeezing into a tiny little box compartment in the back. Y Yo, Marguerite, maybe this plane wasn't such a hot idea. That's fine. It it's really shaking. Eek! There's no turning back now. Come on, Yuri, you're a boy for God's sake. Show a little gumption. Here goes, full throttle. Oh, Marguerite. Having, being a boy has nothing to do with how much gumption Yuri has. He's a dweeb and we all know it. Now it's time for our favorite Japanese girl, the lieutenant girl. Hmm, it appears we're moments too late. And the garrison failed to stop them, I see. Just how far do they think they can get in that rust heap? Amusing little fools. Lieutenant Colonel, the pursuit planes are prepared to fire. With your permission, we can shoot them down. <laughs> no need to waste ammunition. They'll crash before they get too far. One thing does surprise me, however. I never managed imagined they'd be involved with that Malkovich. Uh, I apologize about the state of our troops, Lieutenant Colonel. I. Don't worry about it. I'm headed for Delian. Make the preparations. I suppose we shall have to set traps for them and then lay patiently in wait. Yes, ma'am. Understood. Dot dot dot. Time to crash the plane! Oh yeah, it's time for the lag scene of lag. I know this, the music and everything's gonna lag in the scene. It did the first time I, um, when I was recording. Yuri, slow down! Blah blah blah, because I accidentally skipped it. Hee <laughs> hee! Don't worry, Mom, I'm fine. I'm just gonna go tell Dad it's supper time. He's been working so hard, he must be hungry. Aw, he, he loves Daddy, who's really, really slowly hoeing the ground with a gigantic hoe next to a tree. You know, th your crops aren't going to get as much sunlight if you plant them underneath the tree like that. Hmm? 
you're out of breath, boy. Did you run all the way here? Oh, Yuri has the fox mask. <laughs> Mom says supper's ready. Oh, well, I can use a break. Lag. <laughs> There's still so many left! Can you really seed it all by summer? Well, he has to, because then he has to leave. Sure, winter's much harsher here on the continent than in Katsuraki where you were born. First, we work to plant lots of seeds, then in fall we split the harvest with everyone from town. So, Hyuga, his father, is Japanese, their mother, Anne, is German. I say Anne because we find on the second game her name's not Anne. Um, and so that makes Yuri half German, half um, Japanese, but they were raised, but he was raised in Russia. If I remember correctly, I think he was raised in Russia. If we work hard and help each other out, then we can make it through even the toughest of winters. Understand? Yeah, sure. Sure about that, Brusky. Maybe you should not plant your seeds underneath the gigantic tree, then. Because, again, they won't get as much sunlight that way. Say, Dad! Will you have to go away again in the fall to work? Yep. For how long? Will you be back soon? It's okay, Dad. I can wait for you, because I'm a man! Women can wait, too! But Mom's different. She's a girl, so she misses you. She tries to hide it, but... Oh, Yuri, you chauvinist. <laughs> Even when he was this young. I can tell how sad she is. I know. I feel terrible about doing this to you and your mother. Not terrible enough not to go do whatever your job is. Yuri, you look after Mom while I'm away, alright? Yeah, sure. I'll try to come back before winter. Okay, I promise. Come back soon, okay? Yeah. Sure about that. Of course, I promise too. Come on, Mom's waiting. appears. The young man searches for his father's... You will also face your destiny in Shanghai. <laughs> Great. I don't know how Yuri can just fall asleep like this. He's like, I'm gonna just pass out in this plane and swallow your part in midair. <laughs> uh, uh. Yuri, wake up! Please wake up! Uh huh? <laughs> what? Something happened? Did something happen? I'll say it did! How can you possibly sleep at a time like this, sonny boy? I'm like, what? <laughs> I just picture groggy Yuri waking up. Huh? The engine's busted! Yup. Yuri, I heard what you said in your sleep. You were saying, Dad, Dad, they're coming to kill Mom! Help! You seem to be in so much pain. Dot dot dot. Look here, Missy. This is no time for casual discourse on some some niloquy. Okay. Using big words to make sure we know that you're smart, right, Marguerite? We're going to crash. Crash, I tell you! Aye! Eek! I love how Alice's go-to yelling sound is eek! Well, 
They crashed. Man, I thought we were done for. Me too. I can't believe we made it in one piece. Dot dot dot. I never dreamed we crash. Never in a million years. Who would have thunk it, huh? Yeah, sure, Marguerite. What a what a gutless plane that was. I thought we'd at least get past Delian. Yeah, sure, honey. You nearly killed them. You you nearly killed everyone. Forget Delian. You almost bought us a one-way ticket to hell. <laughs> Even Alice won't defend her at this point. <laughs> Don't glare at me, you two. That's not very nice. Come on, look on the bright side. We're all still here. Right? <laughs> Sigh. Yeah. Sure. I don't want to work on my webcomic. I got shit to do. I don't even know if my uh, Google Calendar pop-up there even actually got recorded in the recording, but it probably did. This guy wants a turtle. No, wait. No, I don't mean to- Fuck. Okay. This guy wants a turtle that's hiding in the grass, for some because for some reason he can't go find his turtle himself. So we have to go find his turtle. Oh, wait, no, I didn't mean to- Fuck. Come on, I'm, ju I'm just gonna find your turtle for you. I know I'm trying to do it faster than you want me to, but I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna go find your turtle. It's fine. Is the turtle here? Nope. Yeah, there's a turtle here. Hey, look, a turtle! Okay. Because RPG side quests. NPCs and RPGs can never do anything for themselves. Even just some random guy who lost his turtles in the grass behind him. Can't find the turtle himself. No, 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 no. No. He needs me to find the turtle for him. Because I logic not at all. I'm just gonna go in here. Are you going in the inn? <sighs> to the inn. Fine, but don't bother see mother. She's the only person we can depend on now. Because everything is cursed! Every single place they go is cursed. It's cursed when they get there. Another victim of the curse. It's so awful, I can't bear to watch. Yuri, do you think that old woman is... The sea mother. Yeah, it looks like it. Mumble, mumble. Oh, mighty God, I beseech you, prolong this boy's life. I beg of thee, mumble, mumble, mumble. Uh, it hurts, brother. Ask sea mother to... Hang in there, Yan Yan. Don't give up. You're gonna be all right. Please, sea mother, you've got to do something. He's the only family I have. Her magic ain't gonna do damn thing. Yan Yan, I can't help you. You fought very hard. You're a brave, brave boy. You can't say that, Sea Mother! Oh God, Yen Yen! I'm sure it was very difficult, but it'll soon be over. I do not possess the power to eliminate Lili's curse. Forgive me, Yen Yen. Gurgle, gurgle, gurgle. Th this is horrible! Cursed and killed by someone's hate! Uh, this is not running commentary to somebody's death, it's fine. And he's dead. Yen 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 No <clears throat> Still have a bit of a sore throat because I have a cold. But Spirits in the heavens. Spirits in the heavens. Our proud fisherman will be coming under your care. Please be good to him. Thank you, Sea Mother. At least I won't have to worry about Yen Yen losing his way. Damn you, Li Li. How can you be so unthinkably cruel to our village? Yeah, about that. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Looks directly at Alice. You're special. 
obvious super magical person is obvious. One burial after another. Hmm? Are you guests? I'm sorry, but please leave me be. Rude. But we want a room. Because when you go outside at night in this game, bad shit happens. Uh-oh. Hey! Hey you! The sun's gone down! Shouldn't you be inside? <laughs> Everyone's so scared of me, they won't open their doors. Uh-oh. That voice! You must be Lily! That's right! Kiyi, what a pretty voice! My voice used to be like that, too! Even prettier, maybe! Uh-oh. It's you, isn't it? The evil spirit that comes out when the sun goes down. I thought I smelled a monster. Right, let's see what you got. What you got? Tee hee hee. What's the point? I only have business with her. So, the sacrifice for tonight. You. Well, Alice got wrecked. Eek! <laughs> she just goes, eek! <laughs> Oh, you're silly. At sunset tomorrow, the girl will die. All you can do is sit by and watch. How glorious she'll be in agony to the very moment of her death. The same agony I tasted. <laughs> Rude? Stop! Wait, you little... A punch is nothing. Alice! God damn it all to hell! Alice! Wake up, Alice! Nope. Girl got cursed! Girl done got cursed! S sea Mother? Help us, please! We've had some technical difficulties. It, it can't be, but it is. That sound. You saw Lily, didn't you? The girl is in grave danger. Bring her inside. Hurry. N nods to each other before they pick her up. <laughs> it's the same as Yen Yen and all the others. Lily's curse has pierced deep into her tiny body. But what can we do, Sea Mama? Sea Mama. <laughs> Here he's such a dork. I love him. He's such a dork and slightly misogynistic, but he's just wonderful. <gasps> There's gotta be something. Please! Calm yourself. I've called upon a warlock more powerful than I. He should arrive soon. Hmm, a warlock in China? Who is more powerful than most? I wonder who that could be. Exclusion. <laughs> and yet, fate is cruel. This girl seems to bear a destiny similar to Lily's. You lost your beloved father, did you? In a foreign land, far, far away. Poor girl. Did Lily lose her father too? Yes, but under different circumstances. Fate has dealt them both a terrible hand indeed. So, who is Lily? Why did she turn into a ghost, and why is she menacing this town? Curious, are you, about her tragic tale? Yes, I suppose you should hear this. Indeed, it seems to me that Lily may have drawn you here. <laughs> why would you laugh at that? Are you evil too? <sighs> it will be a long story, though. Fine, go on, it's all- Okay, the story is only long because you tell it like a dumbass. And you'll see what I mean in a second. Lily, her fate was cursed. Fifteen years ago, there was a sudden tornado that sunk many ships. Lily's father was on one of them. 
He was her only blood relative. She stayed, stood on the docks, praying fervently for his homecoming. She waited and waited, but still her father would not return. She called out to the stormy sea. Blue dragon, god of fishermen, anyone, please save my father's life. I will do anything. At that moment, a massive bolt of lightning struck the water, and the ocean suddenly became calm. Her father's ship returned safely, but the gods were cruel. They had taken away her voice. But that was not all. Her voice became switched with her father's, his rough fisherman's voice. The father now spoke in Lili's sweet, dulcet tones. From that day on, he refused to ever speak again. Because he had a girl's voice. Sigh. That year, a traveling theatrical troupe visited the village. Such bad timing it was. Lily fell in love with one of the actors. I tried everything to get her voice back, but to no avail. The only way was to kill her father. One fateful night, Lily came to me, speaking in her father's voice. See, mother, give me that dagger, the blade you use in your rituals. I've made a decision. It was shameful, but one look into her eyes and I froze completely and gave her the dagger to go kill her dad because you're rude. Killing your dad is rude. Ah, uh, yes. I understand. I'll make this short. Yeah, short. Yeah, uh-huh. Okay, okay. 